good morning i am devi seno in this lecture we are going to discuss about the features of wireless ad hoc networks this topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks wireless ad hoc networks a wireless ad hoc network or mobile ad hoc network is a decentralized type of wireless network the network is ad hoc because it does not rely on a pre existing infrastructure such as routers in wired networks or access points in managed wireless networks working of ad hoc network the devices in the ad hoc network can access each other's resources directly through a basic point to point wireless connection due to this central servers are unnecessary for functions such as file shares or printers in a wireless ad hoc network a collection of devices or nodes is responsible for network operations such as routing security addressing and key management here is a representation of wireless ad hoc network in this diagram from the internet through the broadband modem the computer one is connected through the ethernet or usb cable and from the computer one through the wireless fidelity that is wifi the other devices like computer 2 computer 3 smartphone iphone pda printer have been connected these things have been done with the help of a ad hoc network concept working of ad hoc network devices in the ad hoc network require a wireless network adapter and they need to support a hosted network when setting up a wireless ad hoc network each wireless adapter must be configured for ad hoc mode instead of infrastructure mode all wireless adapters need to use the same service set identifier that is ssid and channel number let us start discussing about ad hoc networks features the first feature we are going to discuss is a topology here is a representation of a wireless ad hoc network ad hoc networks adhere to dynamic topologies network topology which is typically multi hops may change randomly and rapidly with time it can form unidirectional or bidirectional links expensive equipment are not necessary to set up an on the fly ad hoc network the next feature we are going to discuss is a bandwidth constraint here is a representation ad hoc networks suffer from bandwidth constrained and variable capacity links wireless links usually have lower reliability efficiency stability and capacity as compared to wired network we discuss about the autonomous behavior of the ad hoc networks feature each node in ad hoc network has autonomous behavior each node can act as a host and router which shows its autonomous behavior all nodes have identical features with similar responsibilities and capabilities and hence it forms a completely symmetric environment now we discuss about the next feature nodal connectivity here is a representation nodal connectivity is intermittent 
that it is not steady or it is irregular in ad hoc networks. The connectivity between the nodes are not properly because it is an intermittent one that is represented here. Now we will discuss about the lightweight terminal features. The terminals in the ad hoc network are lightweight terminals. In maximum cases, the nodes in ad hoc network are mobile with less CPU capability, low power storage and small memory cells. Now we discuss about the shared physical medium feature of the ad hoc network. Shared physical medium. The wireless communication medium is accessible to any entity with the appropriate equipment and adequate resources. Accordingly, access to the channel cannot be restricted. We discuss energy constraint future of ad hoc networks. In ad hoc network, the energy constraint operations can be critical in terms of certain resource utilization as some or all the nodes rely on batteries or other exhaustible means for their energy mobile nodes are characterized with less memory power and lightweight features now we discuss about the security feature of the ad hoc networks here is a representation. Ad hoc networks offer limited security. Wireless networks are more prone to security threats. A centralized firewall is absent due to its distributed nature of operation for security, routing and host configuration. Now we discuss about human intervention futures of ad hoc network. Less human intervention is required in ad hoc network. They require minimum human intervention to configure the network. Therefore, they are dynamically autonomous in nature. Ad hoc network has mobile and spontaneous behavior which demands minimum human intervention to configure the network the next feature is multi-hop routing in ad hoc network multi-hop routing is required as per situation when a node tries to send information to other nodes which is out of its communication range the packet should be forwarded via one or more intermediate nodes. There is no single point of failure in an ad hoc network. High user density and large level of user mobility. In ad hoc networks, no central management hub is required from where all devices can be controlled. Now we discuss about the distributed manner future of the ad hoc networks. In ad hoc network, operations are performed in distributed manner. Distributed nature of operation for security, routing and host configuration. A centralized firewall is absent here. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.